In this video, I will address the uh, question about what is the bulging belly button. So, in medical terms, we call it uh, an umbilical hernia. And as we all know, the umbilicus is nothing but an extension where the umbilical cord attaches to the baby. And you know the importance of the umbilical cord, the whole source of connection between the mother and the baby and the babies in the womb. So, uh, there is a big gap in the muscle where the umbilical cord attaches because obviously the vessels and the other connections uh, go into the baby from that spot and in some babies it's a little bit wide and we know that during the colic phase the baby cries uh, excessively there is training uh, and all this increases the pressure within the abdomen the contents may bulge through this small uh, space and that is called an umbilical hernia the good thing about the umbilical hernia is that this space is never tight. So there is a laxity around it and so it's not going to obstruct whatever content is coming out. You might notice that it pops up when the baby is crying or straining and then you can easily push it back in. And if you put your finger in, you can feel a nice round coin shaped hole. So this will bridge up with time as the baby starts uh, lifting the neck up, the muscle starts developing. When the baby starts sitting, it starts uh, going in and by one to two years, it usually is not prominent at all. It can still come out when the baby is training till they are about two to three years old. But uh, I have not seen a single umbilical hernia that needs uh, treating. So the main thing is that uh, you don't need to worry about it. It doesn't cause any problems at any time. Of course, it looks different cosmetically. There is one uh, subtle thing that you need to remember that uh, hypothyroidism, for example, or uh, certain uh, metabolic problems can be associated with umbilical hernia as an association. So uh, do discuss that with your doctor. So he will be looking for other features. The newborn screening includes the, uh, the TSH, which is part of the thyroid testing. And if the newborn screen is normal and the baby is otherwise well, there is no difference in the way your baby appears or anything, you don't need to be concerned. Uh, some communities put coins around the belly button, tie it around. So we wouldn't recommend doing that because it's not going to make any difference. As long as the gap in the muscle is there, when the baby strains, uh, the intestinal contents will bulge out. This is different from the inguinal hernia, which we will discuss in a separate video. I hope this is useful. Uh, do share. Thank you.